121 Catherine's Hope, formerly known as the Frigate House. This is a wildly popular vacation rental years ago. It's more recently been full-time owner-occupied. As you can see, you come in on Frigate Court here. You've got a concrete driveway, side gate to the pool, and then you enter through this wrought iron gate into a beautiful entryway. Before we go much further, let me take you into what used to be the generator room is now a battery room where the Solark charge controller is located. There'll be another Solark installed here shortly. It's in shipping. Each of these are 10 kilowatts of lithium ion backup power. So instead of having an old generator sitting here burning fuel and making noise, the wave of the future is solar. And since this house already has a solar net metering permit, it made perfect sense to simply add batteries and an updated charge controller and inverter to make this basically an off-grid house. So your electric bill here is gonna be close to zero, depending on how much AC you use, of course. And when the power goes out, you're not gonna know it. There's an awesome lime tree down in the corner. I'll show you there in a little bit. You come in the front door, it's got an electronic keypad here. Can't show you the code, sorry. But once you type in the code, the door opens up and you enter right off of this beautiful entryway here. Nice comfortable foyer and then into the great room. As you can see, the ceilings are very high, probably in the neighborhood of 20 feet at the peak. Before we go further in, let me just show you the laundry room, which is tucked off in the corner here. Nicely appointed setup. Got a quartz countertop folding table, room for your mops and brooms, step ladder, cleaning supplies. And of course, down below, you can put all your laundry detergents. You got a hanging rack above. Very comfortable for four to sit at the bar, as Stephanie is elegantly displaying. You need some friends here, Steph. I do. These swivel chairs are beautifully placed in that you can swing out to look at the view or swing in to watch the TV. Great place to chill out. Got a nice modern look here. Got a Polk audio system. I think that's a 65 inch flat screen. Very nicely appointed, every detail is thought out. It has the luxury vinyl flooring, which is a real, got a real nice feel to it. It's great on the bare feet. Dining for six, easily expandable to eight there with no problem. Mini split in the living room. And of course each bedroom has one as well. House comes fully furnished and decorated as you see it. It's got one of these smart TV or smart refrigerators so you can control the stereo from the TV here as you can see. I used to be able to moonwalk in my younger days. Anyway, Nicely set up kitchen. You got double shelves above. You've got a hand wand on off under counter light. So you simply wave your hand under here and off it goes. If you want to dim it, you turn it on and then hold your hand in position. And you'll see it will dim. So you can set it to any setting that you want to dim it back up. You just put your hand on it, hold it there and you're back to full bright. Drawer style built in. Microwave. Gas cooktop, lots of counter space. Tons of counter space. Electric oven. And then right off the kitchen is the master bedroom. And there's Blake of Blake Floyd Gardner Photography in the house doing some photography for us. St. Croix's finest real estate photographer and other 
types of photography, but this is a really big master bedroom. As you can see, that's a king size bed. Double French doors lead out to the deck and impact glass window there. Instead of having like a walk-in closet, this house has a lot of built-ins. So for example, here's one set of built-ins here. There's actually three along this wall. And then as you go into the master bath, there's more along this wall as well. And what's nice about them is not only does it give you a lot of storage, but it has the bells and whistles like the top drawer, for example, for all of your jewelry organization, your rings and such. And then on the next level, you could put watches or belts or whatever. And then of course there's drawers and then at the bottom, your shoes. They all have the slow closing hinges. Sort of this modern mirror that you can change the color of light. So by pressing this button, it'll change to a different color blue light and then to a soft white light and then off. So that's how you operate that, that light. In addition, you have the cable LED lighting above. Double vanity, two person shower, nice big mirror. Some people are like, why would you have a mirror in your bathroom? But when you're shaving, perfect. Get every single spot. Got a nice window here that you're gonna open up for some cross ventilation. Lots of elbow room in here. Lots of elbow room. Full size mirror at the end and then a toilet there. So that's the main part of the house, including the master bedroom. Let's go take a look at the other side. All right, we're gonna head on into the guest bedrooms, which are now on the north side of the house. Here's the first guest bath. Nice big picture window there for breeze. One of the cool things about the design of this house is you can open it up for the breeze or you can close it all up and seal it up for those hot summer months and enjoy the AC. But so you can have the dual lifestyle. You know, some people come to the island and they're always like, oh, I wanna make sure my house has a breeze and I get that. But in July and August, that breeze is 94 degrees and it's very humid. So having the ability to open a house up open up the doors, open up the windows, and you'll notice on the back side here, there's windows in the hallway as well as the living room and down towards the other bath, guest bathroom, you'll get that cross breeze. So you can have either lifestyle. Seal it up for AC or open her up and enjoy the Caribbean trade winds. Got the same built-ins over there with storage above. So again, it goes without saying, this is sort of a Jack and Jill for guests. So this particular bath would be not only the, bath, the um, bathroom for this ensuite, but it would also double as the um, guest bath. Down at the end of the hall, we come into the second guest bath. Beautiful marble shower, with a nice sliding glass door. Got your water table there, your water closet. Nice roll down shades for privacy. Your main electric panels here. There's actually a piece of art that's gonna cover that shortly. And then a nice dimly lit nightlight here, which you can sort of dim up and down at night if you had a small child perhaps living here, they could easily get to the bathroom, but it wouldn't be so bright as to be, you know, keeping them awake. Another big guest bedroom. That's a king size bed. Same soaring ceilings, brand new fan, brand new, um, brand new French doors. Those are not impact. However, when we go outside, you'll see that it does have the uh, accordion shutters. And then this bedroom is the closest to the pool. So that's the three bedrooms and the three baths. Let's go back and check out the outdoor deck. 16 foot impact glass sliding door leads you out to this massive deck, which is also brand new. Think about entertaining in here. You've got your indoor outdoor layout here. Once you push these all the way back, you've basically connected the outside to the inside. 
And what I love is you can sit in one of these swivel chairs, you know, watch the game, watch the movie, or swing around and take in the view. The choice is yours. Right now, I think I'm going to take in the view. Look at the length of this deck. I mean, this thing goes, I'm going to guess 100 feet or so. Guest bedroom, accordion shutters. Guest bedroom, accordion shutters. Nice sun deck area. Beautiful pool. All freshly painted, new roof coating, all new solar system, and all new decking. You've got the marine grade stainless cabling for the railing. A nice little lounge out here. Kitchen window. And now we're at the master master bedroom entrance, which also, as you can see, has the accordion. Where you don't see a shutter, for example here, that's an impact glass window. And then you have a nice little dog area or maybe a garden area. Gorgeous view, looking over the Reef Golf Course, Antique Bay, and the St. Croix Yacht Club. Got a hose reel out here if you want to have some potted plants. It's just a really comfortable place to sit and enjoy your cocktail at sundown. In this house, you're actually gonna get sunrises here. The sunsets will be in the back, so you'll get some morning sun under this shaded area, but 90% of the day, this is all shaded. So if you wanna get some sun, you could set up some loungers there or go down by the pool area. And the nice thing too, these overhangs give the windows a nice shaded effect, so it kind of protects it also from the rain a little bit. As you can see, there's stainless steel rafter brackets on every one of these rafters facing north, which um, adds a lot of strength, especially if you're going to self-insure. A lot of people are paying cash and they don't want to pay the uh, exorbitant uh, insurance premiums for windstorm insurance. This is a house that you could get away with not insuring for windstorm. Taking your chances, there can be uh, damage still, but if you want to save some money, a house built like this, you could uh, possibly consider skipping the windstorm insurance. Thanks a lot for checking out the house with me. Remember, this is 121 Catherine's Hope. And if you want to look at it in person, give us a call. We'd love to show it to you. Have a great day.